Your own teammates. We're looking forward to it, undoubtedly. We've had a good two months of practice. You know, it's been filled with just a competitive spirit, you know, amongst our team. And we enjoy going against each other every day, but uh, you know, I'm positive our whole team is definitely looking forward to lacing it up against another opponent. How does uh, doing these exhibition games? How is that going to help build your all's chemistry compared to last year? Um, well, you know, I, I wasn't a part of the team last year, but I, so I'm going to speak just on this year. But I think, um, you know, just being able to, to play against somebody else, yeah, that's going to be new for us. It will be our first time doing that uh, this fall. Uh, you know, there's always adversity in a game, and we'll see how we respond to that. You know, we could go through a wall of missed shots, or, uh, you know, it's just natural adversity throughout every game, no matter who you're playing. So. I think all that would be a good collective test for us. How is that experience kind of going off that? Uh, how is that experience from the other players helping you with your game? Um, you know, we're, we're a together group, so we just have a tendency to, to migrate towards each other rather than apart. Um, so that's been productive for all of us during practice thus far. I know it's competitive and has been for weeks and weeks, but as you approach the season, do you feel things starting to amp up a little bit more each day or each week? I'd say the attention to detail and just the overall excitement has probably ramped up a little bit. Um, you know, as we get closer and closer to the first exhibition, the first official game, um, you know, I think it's important to be even more detailed and uh, just kind of live up to that standard of Kentucky basketball. Joe, we talked about the adjustment you're making Well, just from my four years at Davidson, we would play high major non-conference opponents. Uh, just a similar notion to what I described on media day last week, you know, about my adjustment here the first couple of weeks of September. Just you typically see more speed, more athleticism. Um, the game is just faster overall, which requires quicker decisions, quicker reads, uh, etc. So. Um, you know, I've definitely found my niche now and have settled into that the last you know, month, six weeks or so. So I think all of us will be ready for that once we start playing our major opponents ourselves. Speaking of speed, uh, Coach Cal Perry said on media day that there's been a learning curve for you uh, adjusting to the speed that he wants. What's that kind of been like over this, this offseason? Um, just kind of what I just touched on. That was. When we get to you know official a lot of five on five action in the early September, just decisions were a bit slower. The game was fast for me. Um, it took me a couple of weeks to just settle in and be more efficient as a shot maker and as a decision maker. So, um, you know, like I said on media day, in hindsight, I'm glad I went through uh, two or three weeks of sugar and pains and having to overcome some adversity and just settle in and, and trust the process. So. Uh, now I'm grateful for that for that uh, for that time here. Has has Cal hinted around as to what kind of uh, I won't say a starting lineup, but a rotation because you guys have so many interchangeable parts. Has he hinted around as to what we could see during these exhibitions while he tries to figure out everything? Uh, you know, the best answer to that is we have a we have a deep team and a lot of capable players that. Position. We've got size, athleticism, defensive ability, and shooting. Um, and the guys that compete the hardest, defend the most, do the most, are the guys that are going to we'll see the most. Yeah, it has been great. Um, you know, he's very versatile, which I don't, I'm not sure everyone was aware of before we got here to campus. Uh, he's got a real keen ability to, to make plays off the bounce and, and drive closeouts. Um, he's been a real capable shot maker and a good rebounder and defender. So, um, you know, I think we all expect Bryce to be very good for us this year. What have you seen out of the defense so far? Just what do you think your all's potential is on that end? 
Uh, I think we've made some good strides. Um, you know, communication on defense has uh, has been relatively consistent, and I think we've, we've been improving in that manner um, even more as of late. We've, we've keyed in on some defensive schemes and strategies, just going over rotations and things that we'll have to do in, in games. Uh, so I'm really confident we'll be a good defensive team this year. Has Cal mixed any zone in at all with you in practice at all? Uh, we've naturally gone over some zone just in the, you know, in the chance of preparing to play teams who may resort to zone against us. Um, so we've gone over it, you know, just the basic techniques and the rotations of the zone and how to play against the zone. Um, something that we have to do, you know, we, we're going to play. 30 or 40 games this year, we'll, we'll see all, all, types, all different types of defenses, so it's going to be prepared for all of that. So where you all are now, how would you kind of assess the team's chemistry so far? It's awesome. It's a real uh, tight group, both on and off the court. You know, we feed off each other's energy and practice, um, and just the overall competitiveness and, and, and the spirit between us has, has been awesome. So there are no guys here that are for themselves. It's all about the team and adding value to each player. When we work collectively to, to achieve that, um, it's just resulted in, in a great team spirit and chemistry for us. Obviously, your scoring ability has been well documented. Is there anything in particular that you've learned about your game uh, throughout your time in Lexington so far? Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say anything glaring that I, that I didn't have a, a knack for doing or an ability to do. I just say, just being able to kind of get past an adjustment and doing it at this level consistently um, was was the biggest thing for me. I'd say. Callum, how do you feel about? I'm sure you've been asked about playing a different team. You know, you go up against somebody that's not real familiar with your moves or not answering. We're excited about it. Uh, as I touched on earlier, just. Being, um, you know, practice the last two months and playing against each other and the competitive spirit that has gone with that, uh, you know, has been awesome for us. And I, I think we've, we've grown a lot from it and, and it's been productive for all of us. But we're all excited to be able to um, lace them up against another opponent and kind of bring all that together in a, in a full 40 minute game. What difference does that make to go up against the first opponent? that doesn't know you as well as your teammates do. What's the value there? Well, hopefully it's a, it's a big difference in our favor. I mean, when Cal calls a play in practice, the other, the other team knows what, what, what play is going to be run. Um, so fortunately for us on Friday or throughout the rest of the season, we'll have that advantage of um, you know, not knowing all our schemes and, and offensive strategies. How are you shooting? Uh, I've, I've been pretty consistent, I think. Um, you know, I've touched on the first couple of weeks of September being an adjustment for me, but um, I've been consistent since. So, I'm, uh, you know, that's the goal. That's the big thing here. It's just to try to remain consistent. Um, don't let the shots phase you or, or affect you or, or keep you from continuing to shoot the shots that. Cal, you know, wants us all to shoot, tell the capable shot makers to shoot, so. What's your range? You know, how far out do you feel comfortable shooting? Um, I'm, I'm not going to give you a specific, uh, you know, I don't know if it's, I'm comfortable three, four feet beyond the line. Um, you know, I, I've shot, shot some big threes at Davidson, so I'd say I'm comfortable and capable. I'm not shooting where Steph shoots from. You know, it's 38 feet away. I'm uh, right. going, over, going a couple of feet beyond. So you practice that a lot, shooting two or three feet behind the line, almost trying to maybe prepare yourself a little bit for the league. Um, we, you know, when I do shooting workouts with Jay Lucas or, or Riley Welsh, or, we always uh, will incorporate uh, like a segment of deep threes. It's just it's just part of the game. Sometimes. You know, spotted up three feet beyond the line gives you a better shot, um, especially if teams are packed in and, and playing, you know, more help-oriented defense. So 
it's a part of the game. You know, we don't you don't practice that for show, or you don't take them for show points. You take them because they're the best shot available. So, now, do, you, do you have like a spot on the court? Like, you know, a lot of really good scorers they have their spot, their go-to spot that they love to just try and get to. They know they can get a bucket. Do you have a spot on the floor for for you? Um, yeah, I'm sure there are spots from a little more efficient. I can probably look at those numbers. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty confident shooting on the wing, uh, either, either side. That's where I got a good amount of my shots at Davidson. Um, and everyone loves the top of the key, I feel like, so. Anybody on the team shoot from Steph distance? Uh, no, not quite. I mean, that, he's unique in his, in his own right. I think there's no one else in the world that shoots. Uh, maybe Damian Lillard here and there, but that, I'll leave that, that phrase to Steph.